What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 Become a Legend, and this is also the fifth video of the week. Yay! Oh, by the way, I know what you guys are doing, all right? I'm not fucking dumb, all right? I know you guys are making fun of me when you say, oh, he's uploading like five days in a row. Oh, the old coyote's back. Shut up. All right, Huddlesfield versus Arsenal at the John Smith Stadium, the same generic stadium, they've just given it different names, but um, it's hoping past 2020 they have more stadiums, but it's, it looks nice, you know, it's not that bad looking stadium, and uh, Malcolm Brown, ready to go, Afanchai's running away with it, mate, you got a lot of catching up to do, alright, pass it, pass it, oh, that's brilliant, that is, let's go, Malcolm, what was that? That is, bro, you gotta improve, you got, you've got, you got to improve, you bastard. There's no way you're, you're catching up to a fan show with that kind of finishing. What was that? It's not even on target, like, come on, man, how, that's just like the worst shot I've ever seen. You know what, let's go it. Oh my God, I hit him in the back of the head. Did you see that? <laughs> this is never good. This is never good. Oh, shiza. Uh, it's actually good for us in the end. I mean, they had a pretty good attempt at goal, but wasn't on target. Oh, that's... Come on. Come on. Yes, let's go. 1-0 up. That was brilliant passing pa player right there. And I think it's Mkhitaryan. Yep, it is M. Mkhitaryan. What? I don't know why I said it like that. I'm so sorry. I apologize to everyone. I was going to name a country, but then I was like, I don't exactly know where he's from, so I'm just not going to name any country at all. Um, <laughs> I actually don't know where he's from, now that I think about it. But I'm not even going to guess, because it's probably going to come across as racist. And I don't want to do that. Again, from the wings. It's never good. Oh, what a strike. Oh, my God. He absolutely smashed that one. And it's into the back of the net. Goal! Equalizer! That was a very... He really put his foot through that ball, man. Ball, man. <laughs> it's just how I speak, alright? Stop making fun of me! Anyways. Look at that. Whenever they are on the flanks, I mean, it's just... It's just trouble. Look at that. Boom! So close, you know? He was, uh, like, from the penalty spot. And he just put his boot through that one. Look at that. Wasn't holding back on that one. Boom! No chance for Peter Cech. And it's 1-1 one, one at half time. That was quite a boring first half. Besides the two goals, obviously. I mean, we got two goals, but nothing besides that really happened. We didn't really have all that many opportunities. Look at that. Two shots from them, three from us, and that's it. Oh, I just wanted to say, because I did say it was Peter Cech in the goal. It's not. Look at that. It's number 26. Not sure who that is, but it's neither Leno nor Peter Cech, so... Yeah, there's that, I just wanted to correct that. Oh, and Malcolm Brown, number 30, the king of the north, the white wolf, is going off because he was a pile of piss in this game. That's why. But Aubameyang's on, and uh, let's hope Pierre can uh, give us the lead once more, and uh, we can win the game. Because uh, we are tired at the moment. Aubameyang does not need... You know, all that many opportunities. Well, he can create his own opportunity. Not in real life, I mean in the game. In the game, he's lethal. In real life, he's not very accurate, you know. he. Well, let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. Are you serious? In real life, he's not very, uh, you know, clinical. Oh, my God. How did they not score that? Alright, we're not meant to score, mate. We're not meant to score because that was redonkulous. Go on, that's surely a goal. Oh my god. Are you having that? Alright. Creating lots of opportunities, but much like Malcolm Brown, they are just wasting it away. Bear in, come on, they always score from the wings against us. Get in! Finally, we score from the wings as well. It's Lichtensteiner. Scores the first goal of the day. Number 12 gives us the lead. The goalkeeper is not too happy with his defense, but um, there's not much you can do about these sort of situations, you know. It's sort of, uh, I don't know, I don't really know how. Oh, wow. 
It looked like it was an own goal, actually. <laughs> but they've given it to Lichtensteiner, so it does not matter what it looked like. Well, let's see. Oh, no, it was Lichtensteiner. It, it, they were both very close, so it looked like it was uh, the other player. But it was Lichtensteiner, and he got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Finally, they put it wide as well. Because they have... And there's that Javinho. That is Gervinho, the forehead. Remember the old KSI? Oh, I miss the old KSI. He was brilliant. Not that the new one is not brilliant. It's just that the old one I, you know, like more. I like the new one too. Just the old. Anyways, you get the point. Never good. Never good. Never good. Wow. They, again, he puts, this guy doesn't mess about, does he? He absolutely boots that. Wow, second goal he scored today, both the times, does not give a shit, he just, wow, he absolutely spanks it, look at that, look at that right there, look, he, he, he put so much power on that it almost missed, came off the crossbar, this guy does not give a flying Dutchman, what, you get the point, look at that man, this is it, this is it, the final attack, oh my god, I thought they scored, I got so excited, but it's ended 2-2, and uh, that player, Pritchard, 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 something like that, saved Huddlesfield, and uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's kind of like Jamie Vardy, he just puts his boot through everything, he does not give a Schweinsteiger. Uh, anyways, it's 2-2, 1-0 to Southampton against Everton, 3-0, wow, look at that, Wolves against United, uh, Newcastle United, that is. Bournemouth 1 as well, Liverpool 1, Crystal Palace 1, United 1, Tottenham 1, and Chelsea and City drew, but it does not matter because City have already won the league. Look at that, they're, they're gone, they're flying away with it, like the Flying Dutchman, what? This club expects nothing but a victory, no excuses. Let's go out there and win! I assume that's how he delivered that, but you know, they don't have audio, so we can't tell. Look at that, it's an old London derby! And you know there's only one king of the north! It is Malcolm Brown! I love these, you know, I said the same about FIFA, like, it, it doesn't really matter, you know, this, you know, sort of camera angle from outside of the, the stadium, and sort of, you know, this as well, inside the tunnel. It really doesn't change anything, but it just makes the game look better, do you know what I mean? More authentic, gives that realistic, authentic feeling, and I just love that when games do that. More cutscenes and animations like that, especially sports games. Because it's all about authenticity when it comes to sports games. But here we are at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal versus Tottenham. And that's going to be a good encounter. Let's hope the King of the North, the White Wolf, Malcolm Brown, can uh, shush all of these Tottenham fans. Come on, you gunners. Right, here's our lineup. Again, well, I just wish Lacazette like or Aubameyang, uh, preferably Aubameyang, could start alongside Malcolm Brown. I think that would make a great pair, but it's not possible in this game. That should be one of the things that sh they should add to Pez 20. But yeah, they've got the number 10 Harry Kane up top, and we know he is lethal. He only needs one opportunity, and he'll make you pay for it. A lack of tax from the flank. Oh, yes! Oh, that was very close. I like him because more often than not, they end up in goals, even though this time it didn't end up in the goal. But Kalasinak with a great run down the wing. Whipped it inside, finds Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown does really well to get to it as well, but does not manage to keep it on target. Oh, no, 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 no. That is dirty. Things are heating up. It's, the game's only begun. But this is what happens in derbies. Derbies are dirty. And I like him like that, you know? Let's keep it like that. Let's keep tackling. I love it. I love it, man. Oh, that's going out. Oh, no. He's kept it in. No. I was not expecting that. I should have taken a touch there. Maybe passed it inside. But I took it first. I mean, Malcolm Brown, sorry, because we're not the same, remember? <laughs> took it first time with his left foot as well. And from that angle. Yes, yeah, never, never going in. 
Unless it's Harry Kane, he can do it, but not Malcolm Brown. He's not good enough, not yet at least. Come on, I love you, Emery. I love you, Emery, for these... For this tactics, attacking from the wings. So far, I mean, it's kind of working. I mean, we haven't scored, so in that sense, it's not working. But it's working in the sense that we're actually creating opportunities. Oh, no, Sissoko. Oh, good tackle. Kalasinash, the tank. Come on, come on, find me, find me, find me. How? I cannot. I. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I do not know why I turned African. The fuck? Come on, man. You know when I missed. You know, and then it came off the goalkeeper's back, and it was going back in, and I was like, oh, oh yes, it's gonna go in, and then he cleared it. And then he cleared it. And now they're gonna score. They're pro Good sa save, Leno. Still recovering from that, because that was like a roller coaster, mate. Roller coaster of emotions. Because I, it was going in, then it wasn't. Then I was going in again, and then I wasn't. Come on, man. You know what? I'm going to try to play more of a playmaker's role. I'm going to... You know what? Let's cut inside. Pass to me. Pass to me. All right. Look for a pass in. Go on. Go on. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Was not working when I was taking the shots. I gave it to Ozil, the magician. The Turkish-German magician. I know his heritage already. <laughs> Don't know Mkhitaryan, but I do know him. And I was like, you know what? You know what? I've got to give this job to someone else because I'm fucking... I keep saying I, I mean Malcolm Brown. Just, you know, by now you should know, man. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant pass to Ozil. And then Ozil. What a finish that was. First time shot. Top left corner. And Lloris stood no chance. That was impossible to save. Wait, Michael Carrick's in Tottenham again? All right. Thought he retired, but he went back to Tottenham apparently. We're about an hour in. No, they've still got the ball. This is never good. No, fuck off. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, it's not that we didn't identify him as a threat. It's just, it's, it was all happening. You know. <laughs> you saw it. It was all happening in the middle. And there's really, like I was saying before, there's really no way to defend this, you know. Because it's just so random. You don't know what's going to happen with these corners and sort of crosses in. You know, it's very unexpected. I got this. Take it. Pass it back. Pass it back. Pass it back. Now take it. Now pass it back. And boom. That would have been such a fantastic goal. I actually can't believe that it actually worked the way I wanted it to work. Because I didn't think that guy right there would pass it back to me. But it did. And it worked out amazingly well. But just didn't score. Only we had scored. It's very rare when in a video game, the thing that you actually want to do, you know, happens. You execute it just the way you want to. Especially when you're not in control of the entire team. Come on, come on, come. I've still got it, I've still got it, I've still got it. Oh, I don't, oh my God, I should have passed it. Should have passed it. Oh, let's go, let's go. The spank it, man. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Mkhitaryan again. Wait. No, no, no. It's different game. I'm confusing the two games now. Mkhitaryan. Scores the goal. And I know I was very poor there. I was... I'm, I'm going to keep all of this in. I'm not going to hide it. I was very poor. But that was amazing footwork right there from Iwobi. And then passing it to Mkhitaryan. Good eye as well. So it will be really all the credit goes to him there. He created that opportunity without him. Not possible. Obviously, Mkhitaryan had to put it away. That wasn't an easy finish, but it will be did the hard part, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's the end of the game. No. Okay, good. Oh, thank God. Come on. Just two minutes remaining. Just, just play it safe. No need to attack. We're winning. Come on. Let's paint North London red. 
Come on. Oh, we gave the ball up. Two extra minutes. That's all right. We need to pass it back. That's a good hit. Goalkeepers, man, they can really like. No. Oh no, 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 good, all right, come on, ref, there we go, come on, the king of the north remains the king in the north, even though he didn't really score, but he did assist, Malcolm Brown did assist, and there they are, paying their respect to the fans, coming out and supporting us through the thick, and winning against a very formidable side, I mean, it's not only that they're our rivals, they're also a very, very good side, and every year they put the pressure on, ah! anyways, anyway, what? really, after that performance, Malcolm Brown got the man of the match with a 7.5, I do not believe it, anyways, yeah, so we won United, wow, there was another derby as well, the Manchester derby, and Manchester United won, uh, Crystal Palace won, Liverpool lost, wow! Uh, Everton won, uh, Chelsea drew with Huddlesfield. Alright, um, United is not just four points behind. Uh, but how many games remain? 30, 35. Oh, there are three games remaining, so United can still win it! So City have not run away with it, you know, they, they dropped three points there against United, so United is now only four points behind and there are three games still remaining. Alright, this is interesting now. I, I mean, it's still between the Manchester side. We're out of it. I don't know why I'm getting excited, but... So, Arsenal face a semi-final. It's Manchester United versus Arsenal. Another rivalry. Paul Pogba versus uh, Hector Bellerin. Okay, sure, that, that'll do. I mean... Should have put our best player up there. Malcolm Brown! Exactly, not Hector Bellerin. He's great, but he's no Malcolm Brown, is he? He's no king in the north, is he? So, two back-to-back -back rivalries, two back-to-back -back big games. Manchester United versus Arsenal. And Sanchez is the captain against Arsenal as well. Are oh, you having that? The Red Devils versus the Gunners. And the Red Devils know exactly how to get on Arsenal nerves by making Alexis Sanchez the capitan. And we're here at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. And some dreams will become reality while others will be shattered. There's the United lineup, pretty strong lineup. Lukaku's not playing. Lukaku is their top goal scorer in the UEL. That's the Europa League. It's a weird decision. They could have put Rashford on the left instead of Sanchez and uh, started Lukaku. Here's our lineup, but they wanted to rub it into us so much that they benched their best player this season, Lukaku, just so they can start Sanchez and give him the armband. But you know what? You know what? I was going to say we're going to paint Europe red, but then I thought about it and two things came to mind that. Uh, stop me from doing it. One, we're both red, so that doesn't do anything for anyone really. And second, it sounds like we're going to go on a murderous spree in Europe, so none of that is good, so let's just stay away from it. A tanks from the flanks, you know how I feel about them, but Pitovchak number one is there to... Wait, what happened? Oh, he was offside, all right, good. Mickey, I see you, Mickey. Go on, Mickey Mouse. Oh, boom. Oh, off the crossbar. Was so close, Bayern. Keep it simple, man. It's an open goal. He could have scored that easily. I mean, I guess not. That was an awkward angle, you know, when it got back to him. Look, yeah, his back is towards the goal. The ball is going away from the goal, so I guess he kind of had to do that. And it's nil-nil. Quite a boring half, you know. We were anticipating quite a good game, quite a heated game, a attacking football sort of, you know, very full of. You know, goals and attempts at goal at least. And you see United with zero attempts and Arsenal with two, none of which were on target. Oh, Rashford, oh, he's beating him. He's got pace, mate. He's got pace. Nope, nope, nope. You've got pace, but that's all you've got. Well, you are a very talented player, Rashford. But uh, that was quite rash, get it? <laughs> Anyways. Raf, did you not see that? You blind cunt. Oh, let's do the one, two. Go on, pass it. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Come on, can you put it away? No, you can't. Straight at De Gea. 
Yes, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because we got the goal anyways. It's Ozil with the goal. Number 10, Mazout. Scores the goal. And that is it. Does not matter that I missed or Malcolm Brown missed because we're not the same. Anyways, together we are strong indeed. Look at that. Look at them getting together, walking together, celebrating together, passing together, playing together, winning together. Fucking together. Anyways. Yep. There's really nothing you can do about that because it's all just happening so quickly and it's all random. This is not planned, you know, this this wasn't a planned attack and so therefore you cannot plan a defense against it either. But we came out on top and that's all that matters. So now and now they bring on the big man Lukaku. Come on Baron, you've got the pace, you know what, pass to me, pass to me. That was such a shit pass. He's blocked it, come on take it. Really? You really thought you were going to score from there. On a volley, nonetheless. First off, that was quite a shit pass. You know, I, I needed sort of a through ball. What was that? <laughs> oh, man. Shit pass and then a shit finish from Bayern. Oh, they're passing it well. Whenever they're passing well. Whenever they're passing... All right, we're good. We're safe for now. For now. No, they've got it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Big man. Big man going for the acrobatics. That was never going to work. So here's the thing. Mourinho is their manager, but we've parked the bus, and now I have no support. Here, you know what, Baron? Take it. Pass it back. Pass it back. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. This is great. This is great stuff. Come on, if you can score right. Nope. Nope. Messed it up right at the last second. We are playing way too defensively. Way too defensively. And I get it. I get it. But they can score it right now and it's all gone to shit. I mean, still not gone to shit because we have the away goal advantage. But, um... No. No. Please, no! No mistake! There seem no way back, but they are level! How did I know before, before it even started that they were going to score? This is what I'm talking about. It's just too unpredictable when the attacks come from the flanks. It's too unpredictable. And they have equalized. This. Uh, The ref should have really stopped that right there. He literally hit him in the legs, man. Look at that. Look, when he took the shot. I get it. He was trying to hit the ball, but he took him out. He took the defender out. Look. Look. He straight up took him out, man. Anyways, I'm just trying, <laughs> trying to find excuses for why we conceded. But we conceded nevertheless. And like I said, we still have the away goal lead. So that's something to hang on to but let's hang on to it let's not fucking concede another goal oh no 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 that's another goal no 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 they have completed the comeback 2-1 Lukaku Super sub Lukaku off the bench and I just knew it look from that moment I knew when they start passing like that it's a goal it's always a goal and that was a brilliant finish he sent Peter check the wrong way as well what I mean that's just look I'm upset but that's you have to applaud that that's a very good goal very good team goal Real nice passing, man, and they have completed the comeback 2-1. See, this is why I was upset when we weren't attacking, because this can happen. This is football. Anything is possible, man. Let's not fucking concede another one now, yeah? All right, 2-1. Lukaku with the last-minute goal. That is why they brought him on, and he delivered. And that uh, was quite a good goal as well. You have to give him that. And uh, yeah, that that is exactly the problem with parking the bus, you know. And that's what we did once we went ahead and 
who paid the price for it. Look, Jose Mourinho, I know he's not the manager anymore in real life, but he is in the game and... Oh, man. That was such a shit performance from Malcolm Brown as well. So we've lost. Liverpool won against Santa Etienne, so it looks like... Liverpool will be going forwards, and look at that, I'm 78 rated, or Malcolm Brown is 78 rated now. But we still don't know who's going to go forwards in, you know, our uh, draw, our fixture, or whatever you want to call it. Because, like, they have a goal lead, yes, but we still have that away goal. So all we really have to do is just win by 1-0, you know, at home, which is quite easy to do, to be honest. But not against United, of course, United is a very good side, but yeah gonna end the video before we end it though let's take a look at the table first premiership so it's between the mancunian uh, teams manchester sides uh four points be uh, between them and there are three games to be played so they can quite easily united can quite easily uh win it not quite easily i mean i guess city would have to drop four points Let's see goal difference. Well, the goal difference is not that much either. It's only three goals, so it is possible. I don't see it happening the way City's been playing this whole um, this whole season. They've been dominating opponents left and right, but it looks like Liverpool will be finishing outside of the top four. Arsenal will be finishing inside. Well, let's hope we do. And uh, let's look at the goal ranking. Like I said, Lukaku, the top man, top in form man, Lukaku, still number one. I did not score, or Malcolm Brown, sorry, did not score any goals at all in this one. So, yeah, now he's four goals ahead of me. He was three goals ahead of me at the beginning of uh, this episode. But, yeah, Juventus have won against Benfica, but Benfica have two away goals there, so... That is very interesting. You couldn't really tell who's going to win between PSG and Real Madrid, of course. Uh, there's the goals. Ronaldo tied with Cavani and Jonas at the top. Now let's look at, uh, take a look at the UEL. You already saw the fixtures. Let's take a look at the goal scorers. So, Malcolm Brown, number three. Lukaku, number ten. And Marco Reus from Liverpool, number one. And also... Uh, Salah is there, who is also playing for Liverpool, who, who look like, you know, they'll be playing in the finals. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode right here, right now. In the next episode, we will be concluding this semi-finals thing, this rivalry thing against United. Let's hope we go through the next round, but, um, you know, <laughs> let's hope we play better than the way we played today. But, as always, if you like the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff and if you didn't let me know how i can improve and i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice